When Haman came to dinner, he found a fancy spread. The king enjoyed the wine, and it went straight to his head. He told Esther anything she wanted, he would give her. Esther told him someone sold my people down the river. Your people? What people? Esther said, the only thing I ask you to give is to stop this evil plot and let the Jews of Persia live. The king asked Esther who would do this dreadful thing. Esther said, Haman, chief advisor to the king. Uh-oh, where's my secure undisclosed location? The king was so angry that he stalked out to the garden. Meanwhile, Haman thought he could beg Esther's pardon. He crawled up on the couch where Queen Esther lay. And just then the king came in and found him that way, putting moves on the queen. Hoo-ha! The king said to Haman, you've got a lot of nerve. Soldiers give this prisoner the death that he deserves. They took him to the gallows that he built for Mordecai outside the royal palace, and there they hung him high. No tropical vacation for him. After Haman died, the king took all his money and gave it to Esther, saying, Here you take it, honey. He also gave to Mordecai his official ring, making Esther's cousin chief advisor to the king. Doesn't that look great on resume? Esther begged the king, what is it you will do to stop Haman's order against all the Jews? Even though he's dead, his murderous decree is still on the books, and it even threatens me. Sometimes evil laws can outlive evil men. Mordecai said, Ahasuerus' command cannot be revoked, it's the law of the land. The only way to save the Jews from butchery is for the king to issue another decree. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? So they wrote a fancy document and sealed it with a ring and sent it out to every town on orders from the king. The new law said the Jews could organize for self-defense and punish their attackers, which made a lot of sense. They didn't have an Israel Defense Force in those days. The thirteenth day of Adar was lucky after all. The Jews put their attackers up against the wall. They wiped out Haman's ten sons, I tell you their names. But wasting breath on scum like that would really be a shame. Anyway, the names are hard to pronounce. The Jews in the provinces declared a holiday. But in the town of Shushan, they had to fight two days. Then Mordecai sent out a royal scroll to declare that Jews should celebrate this day of Purim everywhere. The way the Jews are doing in these photos. The last chapter of this story is extremely short. Mordecai was loved by all, there's no more to report. All the Jews were happy and sang Hava Megillah And now the story has been told, that's the whole Megillah You'll come back real soon, you hear?